Hello wonderful people, if you follow the news in the art supply world, it couldn't be more exciting than knowing that Schminke is launching the new super granulating colors as a limited edition. I was able to purchase them all and will review the colors in three videos. Before I do that, I want you to know that the videos are not sponsored and all supplies were bought and paid by me, as they often are, if not gifted as dots by some of you. Thank you. The last few colors that I purchased um, arrived just recently and the sets were complete. There are three sets of five colors, the Galaxy set, the Deep Sea set and the Glacier set. Every set contains five colors and um, all of the colors are mixes of at least two pigments. Before we go on with the review, I want you to know that the swatches from the set and many many more were already uploaded to the watercolor database sunandcolors.com that has been created in 2018 by my partner and I. There you can not only find swatches of paints but also pigment information, properties of the paints and the results of an independent light fastness test. It's free and a little contribution to, uh, contribution to this amazing art community. Sun and Colors is linked down below as well. In case you want to support this project, the links to do so are also down in the description box. Now let's go on with the review, shall we? To go through the paints and present them all, I've created three videos. Now in the first one, there is an introduction to the sets and swatches as well as a, as a painting made with the colors of the Galaxy set. In the last video, I will present my thoughts not only on the last set, but also on the super granulating colors as a whole. So stay tuned for that. The colors in the Galaxy set are Galaxy Pink with the pigments PV16 and PBR33, Galaxy Brown with the pigments PV62 and PBR6, Galaxy Blue with the pigments PG50 and PB29, Galaxy Violet with the label um, PBR233, which is most likely the PR233 Potter's Pink. Um, I've mailed uh, Schminke to confirm that. Um, and if they do, I will tell you in the next video. And this pigment is mixed with PB29. And the Galaxy Black, which is PBK11 and PB29 again. In the swatches, you can indeed see heavy granulation in, the mo in most of the mixes. In the painting, a painting I created to demonstrate what these colors can do, you can clearly see the granulation in the background. This painting, as well as the swatches, were created on cold pressed paper. A wash of water before applying the paint really helps to increase the granulating effect. As you might know, granulation is when bigger pigment particles settle down in the crevices of the paper and create those specks of darker color, while the lighter pigment particles move more. Many granulating mixes are either a combination of two granulating colors or a staining one and another granulating one. So it's specks on a stained light wash. Other properties of the granulating colors are that they are usually easy to lift and less staining. That means that these colors are not the best for glazing techniques, especially when used as the lower layer of the painting. That was something I struggled a little with when painting the bird. The colors lifted when I tried to apply the second layer to them. But the same property made it paint the wings very easy, as I could lift some of the background paint to create a soft edge. Please note that I've added transparent yellow and quin gold hue to the painting to make the berries pop. These colors are not included in the set, but are in the Schmenke range and undeniably some of my favorite yellows to use. So, let's talk about the color selection of the Galaxy colors. The Galaxy Pink is indeed created by using a PV 
16 manganese violet pigment in combination with a brown pigment PBR33 that Schmincke sells as ma mahogany brown. That is a rich reddish brown color and looks beautiful in fur textures. Galaxy Brown is as well created in using a violet pigment PV62, also known as cobalt violet hue in the Schmincke range. The pigment had no number for a long time, but finally it does. It's been in my palette for a long time as well and is a difficult one to rewet amongst the Schmincke ones. Still easier to rewet than some other colors um, from other um, companies. It's a beautiful bluish violet color. It complements the PBR6 pigment, also known as Mars Brown in the Schmincke range well. The same pigment is used by Daniel Smith to, to create the red iron oxide color. First, I wondered why Potter's Pink PR233 was not in the mix, but then it occurred to me that there might have been a false label on my tube. Because there is definitely no brown pigment in the tube of Galaxy Violet. In combination with probably French Ultramarine from the Schmincke line, it's just gorgeous as are the colors on their own. By the way, if you prefer a non-granulating ultramarine, you should try the try out the ultramarine finest by Schmincke. A color that I used just a little on the painting in the wings of the birch to create that light blue was the galaxy blue. It's a combination of PG15, the cobalt turquoise in their range and again ultramarine. The combination creates a light cool blue that is lovely but granulates, uh, granulates less than I would have expected it to granulate. I have to admit that it was one of the colors that I was disappointed by the most. Although the hue is very nice and I probably will use it a lot, the granulation was just underwhelming in comparison to the other colors. The last color of the set is the Galaxy Black. In a combination of PBK11, known as Mars Black in the Schmincke range, and Luna Black in Daniel Smith, and again Ultramarine. It's a nice deep color and reminds me a lot of a granulating indigo, which is a hue I use a lot in my paintings. The color range that is presented in the set is very limited from a purplish pink to grayish blue, and I had to introduce at least the yellow to make this mm, painting coherent. But to be honest, my attempt to use only these, uh, the galaxy colors is because of the review I wanted to present to you. When in the wild, most artists won't use these colors as a set and most likely only choose the colors they like best the, and that fit their preferred color range the most. So there will be a coherent color palette to play with. Please don't feel like you have to own all of these colors. They are convenient mixes, which of course are gorgeous, but should be seen as such. If you are one of those who like granulation and like those mixes, then you probably own the colors that these are mixes of already. So check your palette if you can mix them yourself. In case you want more information about these colors, Consider following the channel to watch the other reviews, which will come soon. You will also find the written review on my blog, which is linked down below, and as mentioned, sw uh, swatches of the full range, and many many more, on my watercolor database suncolors.com. Just, uh, just search for super to find the super granulating ones. Have a creative day, my friends. Stay safe and healthy. I hope to see you soon. Bye.